Number 1. Tsar Bomba October 30, 1961. A Soviet 295 bomber takes off from an airbase in the Arctic Circle, carrying the largest nuclear weapon ever built. The bomb is so massive, 27 metric tons, that the plane's bomb bay doors had to be removed just to fit it. The crew knows they have a 50-50 chance of surviving the explosion, even with the bomb on a parachute delay. They drop it anyway. Tsar, Bomber, the king of bombs, 50 megatons, 50 million tons of TNT, 3,300 times more powerful than the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. When it detonates at 13,000 feet above a remote Arctic island, the fireball is five miles wide. Five miles. If you placed it over Manhattan, it would stretch from the Hudson River to the East River and from the southern tip to Central Park. The heat flash causes third-degree burns to anyone within 60 miles, farther than the distance from Washington, D.C. to Baltimore. The mushroom cloud rises to a height of 40 miles, punching through the stratosphere and into the mesosphere. The shockwave circles the entire planet three times and is detected by seismographs on every continent as a magnitude 5.0 earthquake. Windows shatter in Norway and Finland, hundreds of miles away. The island where it detonated is completely sterilized. Nothing remains alive. The Soviets designed it to reach 100 megatons but scaled it back out of fear that it would be uncontrollable. Even at half power, scientists weren't entirely sure it wouldn't ignite the atmosphere. They tested it anyway, and the footage they captured remains one of the most terrifying pieces of film ever recorded. Here's the most disturbing part. Tsar Bomber was never meant to be used in war. It was too big, too heavy, and too destructive. It was a message, a demonstration that the Soviet Union could build a weapon capable of ending civilization itself. And after the test, both superpowers understood something fundamental. They had reached the limit. Building bigger bombs was pointless because this one could already destroy everything. Tsar Bomber was tested once and never built again. Not because it failed, but because it succeeded too well. The reality. Five weapons. Five scales of destruction. From a grenade that kills in meters to a bomb that shook the entire planet.